40 seconds three times square. Transfers are available with the A C E. Now, this is a very nostalgic trip for me. I've made this trip a thousand times, literally. Traveling to and from New York University, from Manhattan into Brooklyn, Brooklyn into Manhattan. I'm gonna have a chance to visit an apartment that I grew up in. Uh, we lived there from the time I was 10 years old till I was 16. It was small, and the layout of the rooms was very strange, but you made do, so uh, we'll see. I saw your show last night. It was wonderful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Yeah. I'm really excited to see it. I'm so grateful that these people who live there now are going to let me come in and look around. I have my little camera, and I'm take some snapshots if they let me. OK, see you. Bye. And uh, it's going to be wonderful. It's always kind of amazing to me when people recognize me on these things. But it's nice. It's nice that they know you in your hometown. It's like a 50-year a journey into the past for me. I, I can hardly believe I'm actually going to see it again. This is Church Avenue. The Christmas are available to the B train across the platform. All right. These are the same buildings that were here when I grew up, and they'll be here for another 50 years. Hey, is Church Avenue up this way? Thank you. It's a fantastic neighborhood. It's come alive again. You see the shops are bustling and the people are just loving being in New York. Excuse me, is Flappish Avenue up here? Straight up there, sir. Okay, thank you. This is where I lived. Look at you, maybe on television. All right. <laughs> Neil Diamond. Hi, Angie. I lived here when I grew up here when I was a kid. You gotta be kidding. How many no. years ago? You want me to tell you for real? Yes, for real. 50. 50 years? That's right. I've been here since 30 something years. How old are you? Guess how old I am. You wouldn't even know my age. Well, you look like 21 to oh, me. Thank you. I'm 48. No. Yeah. You're gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> but Brooklyn is, it is what it is. It's nothing like Brooklyn. You That's haven't right. been to Brooklyn, you ain't been to nowhere. Look at it. You know, <laughs> you're exactly right. I agree. It's, it's in my blood, you know. Oh, I grew up here. My friends, my family, everybody. Oh, that's, oh, that's a blessing. OK. Yeah. You live around here. Where? Yeah, I grew where? up here. I grew up on between Argyle and Westminster Road. No, are you yeah. serious? Go yeah. welcome back to the neighborhood. It's good. I love your music. Thank you so much. I love you. you are boy, so boy. great. God That's bless so your nice heart. That's so nice to hear. Thank and you, darling. good to come back in our neighborhood and see Thank what's you. up. I love it. Okay? It's, you it's have part a of me. Day. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, Thank you so much. Bye. Wonderful. Reception. That's amazing that these people know me. I thought, well, they didn't know that I was from this street, so that's nice. I like that they're excited about it. You see, in these streets, there's homes, there's private homes. They were wonderful homes, some fantastic homes here. And they went into disrepair after a while, and now they're rebuilding them again. They were extraordinary. And uh, that's where all the rich people lived. And the poor people lived over here and above the apartments. Hi, guys. How you doing? How old are you guys? 18. I lived here when I was 10 until I was 16. I worked in this store. It used to be a pharmacy. I used to deliver pharmacy stuff for the floor. Oh. It had the same floor. See, see that tile floor oh, down there? Yeah. It had the same floor 50 years ago. That's when I lived here. 
50 years ago? 50 years ago. It looked 50 years ago. It, you know, it looked pretty much the same. This store was not here. That was a florist store. And right next to it was a candy store. How you doing? How you doing, sir? All right. What is this all about? Huh? What is this all about? This is all about coming back and visiting my old home. Okay. All right. And you do? And I what? Are you a photographer? Or... No, I'm just a singer. A singer? Oh, a singer. Yeah, sing so there. What? What do you sing if you don't mind my asking? What do I sing? I sing songs. Maybe you know some of my songs. How about like uh, Sweet Caroline? Have you ever heard that song? Yeah, it's no. Another one? Uh, how about uh, a song called America? Uh, Crackin' Rosie, I am, I said. Uh, uh, no, Red Red Wine? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that one? Yeah, I heard it's like a, They got a reggae version. They did a reggae version of that. That was my song. I wrote that and I sang it as well. But I was saying, I lived here on this street 50 years ago. So I'm coming back to visit. My friends had the Chinese laundry here. My other friend's father was the super in that building. He was a superintendent. Yeah. And this is too much. I hope you guys get a chance to come back in 50 years and check it out. My, I was just telling him the same exact thing. When I leave here, because my yeah. store is right over there, yeah. I want to come back and see him on his own store. This is a beautiful thing. And thank you for coming back. Yeah, yeah. no, no, see, it's well, my turn. Right? Yeah. I want to come back and do the same exact thing. Yeah. yeah. Have a nice day. Thank All you. right. But you don't have to stay here to own a store. There's a big world out there. Have you guys been to Manhattan yet? Yeah, all the time. Because I, I didn't go to Manhattan until I was 16. Until you were sick. I've been to Manhattan, man, yo. I mean, I was, this was my neighborhood. This is where I live. And, uh, and that's where all the rich people lived. <laughs> and they still, still live. They, they yeah. still live there. So, uh, anyway, good to see you guys, OK? Right. Good luck. All right. OK. All right. Good luck. All right. Come back in 50 years, OK? OK. Check it out. All right. You'll see. It'll blow your mind. Uh -huh. All right. I'll see you guys. All right. Take care. Have a nice one. Thank you very much. You too. How you doing? How you doing, gang? Love you. All right. Love Thank you. you. Love you too. Is this 1215? Yeah. 1215? You, you live here? Yeah. Me too. I know that. I hope you took care of my apartment. I always take care of the apartment, man. I was on the top. Are you on the top? Yeah, I'm on the top. Beautiful. See, you know, you got you to gotta come and see how the top looks now. I got to see it. You going to let me see it? No problem, man. All right. Come, man. All right, I'll follow you then. All right. Beautiful. How long have you been here? Been here five years now. Five years. I think these are the same stairs. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You made this into a bedroom. This used to be our living room. Yeah, I made this into a bedroom. Good idea. It's beautiful. You know, you know when women in house, women change house. <laughs> a woman is, you need a woman to make it beautiful. The late, my brother and I used to ride or r go around this room on our roller skates. And the lady underneath had a broom, always handy. And she would hit her ceiling, Mrs. Gulkis. And we knew we had to stop. This is an amazing experience for me because I've seen this apartment in my mind a thousand times since I was a kid. But to come back and see the actual size of the place, the, the room, the lack of room, the stairway that goes up to the roof, I had a little bed here with my brother, a double deck bed. And I always heard the creaking of the stairs and I was scared to death because someone was gonna come down and I don't know what they were gonna do, but when you're a kid, you get scared. It's my wife. What's her name? Sharon. Hello, Sharon. All right, darling, do you know me? My name is Neil, Neil Diamond. I'm a singer. I used to live in your apartment. And your husband is showing me around now. I haven't been here for 50 years. So my mind is exploding with, it's different. You decorated it beautifully. It's a very happy apartment. 
And uh, you did a great job. And uh, thank you for taking good care of this place and uh, for, for letting us come in and just take a peek. This is a dream of a lifetime for me. Can I look out the window? Because I wrote a song about looking out that window. There used to be trolleys here. No, you, not uh, buses. Okay. You know, trolley tracks. Trolley, trolley tracks. Like uh, trains. Train. Yeah, yeah, like and that. one time, the cable broke, and it was laying out on the floor, bouncing around with super high electricity. And uh, I'll never forget watching it from the window here. And that house caught fire. That house over there, the roof, and that side of the house caught fire. The fire trucks were out there. I, I had the best view ever. And those houses still, they're big houses for, for the rich people. Well, we always say, man, that's how we live. Some rich, some poor. That's how we live. And, 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 it never bothered me, I except. Never, well, that's what I'm saying. I don't, let, I, don't let, I don't let rich people bother me. I don't let poor no. people bother me. Wonderful. Yes. God bless. Yeah, God bless you. Thank you again. All right. Enjoy the concert, man. We're going to do our best. We're going to have a good time. All right. Right, right. right. Hi, Neil. Nick Mazzarella, how are you? Pleasure. Thank you so much for it's a pleasure being here. For welcoming us. Well, here. I thank you very much. I was in the chorus here for two years. Right, that I think was. it was John McNeil was the principal. Mm -hmm. and That's right. That's and listed right. me as a, a bass. I was 15 <laughs> years old. I don't know how I was a bass. That's a great That's a great. And uh, Barbara Spr Streisand was a soprano. Ooh. She's not a soprano. No, she's not. Well, so what would you like to do right now? I'd here? like to see the quad. OK. The only thing is the quad is being solely destroyed, basically, because of construction. But that's all going to be fixed up. But they're keeping the little house in there? Yes, we have that all in. So come, we'll take a walk inside. Take a look. That's all. Right. That's it? You don't want to see the auditorium or anything for you feel good? Yeah, I think it is. I'd love to. Well, this is the original Erasmus Hall High School. It's in disrepair now, unfortunately, but we're going to make sure that it's as beautiful as it was when it was first built. Desiderius Erasmus, born in Rotterdam. Rotterdam, which, interestingly enough, was the city that we started our world tour in. And, uh,. It was an amazing tour, and it's an amazing school. So it does my heart good to be back here. Erasmus Hall High School was very good to me. I joined the chorus here, sang with the, with the full chorus of about 115 students for two years. It was joyful. I remember performing from this stage as a student with the, with the chorus. And there's a natural echo in this room. When you have a group singing, it's exquisite. Hello out there. Sweet Caroline. You hear that echo? Superb. We made our t-shirts today. 